what is up? Hello, Flames, and welcome to Sophia Lynn Gymnastics. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sophia Campana, and if you're a returning flame, good to see you back. We've got a super exciting video for you guys today. Today, we are celebrating. Gotta get that dramatic chalk action. 100,000 Flames subscribers on this channel. Are you serious right now? To find 100,000 other gymnastics monkeys like me? This is the freaking coolest thing ever in the world. So I'm sending you so much love. Mwah. My most important message that I want to leave with you guys is to always remember of your fire within because it is the biggest and greatest power you have. I believe in you. More fire than fear and we are invincible. So to celebrate, we're gonna be on my favorite event. You guys, this was like my crappiest event growing up, but I promise once you get the hang of it, once you learn how to use the bar like a little trampoline, trampoline. it is the most fun thing in the entire world. Yes, that is why I'm still here playing because it's euphoria. Here's my question. Why would you learn one release move? You can learn all the release moves. Like how satisfying is it to fly and launch yourself and fly and then catch the bar again? Comment below what you think is more satisfying, sticking something on beam or catching a release move. Each one of these release moves is going to represent 10,000 of you guys. I'm gonna try to do it all in one day, but kids come in at four and I forgot a Leo and I'm not allowed to not be in a Leo when they are rec classes. I kind of forgot about that. Did not prep accordingly. Lastly, let me know in the comments, which one is your favorite of today's release move? I thought it'd be fun to include a tiny little brief story or thought that comes up with everyone because each one is sentimental. Each trick has its own story and meaning behind it. First one is going to be a ginger. Then we've got a Tkachev. We've got a Delchev. We've got a Shushanova coming up. Korkina. Pack. Shoot over. Really the death of me. I hate shoot over. Straddle back. We've got a board mount. We've got a Komenichi Salto. Oh yeah, this is the first one for you guys. It's actually uh, a surprise that I wanted to throw in. Just kidding, that's not included. It's a jam. JK, we're gonna do actual cool ones. Okay, I'm gonna try to not cut my flips off like I did in the Komenichi Salto vlog. Forgot to tell you guys, I wore my star scrunchie to represent United States of America, baby. We also have UK, Australia, Canada. Comment below where you're from. Be nice to catch these on like my first try to minimize the amount of rips I'm gonna be getting. Brief story about a ginger. First time I caught this, the Italian national team coach who was the Olympic director at the time, he was like, you don't want it bad enough. You don't want it. And I was like, I want it. I showed him. I was like, I have to show him I want this. Go for my ginger. I get so close. I catch this ginger like on my armpit. I don't know how my face didn't hit, but I caught it like here and slid to my armpits and then dragged down and like was hanging. And he was like, brava. He's like, good job. All right, let's catch this baby. Do you want it bad enough or no? Next skill, I wanna go for a Dikachev. Can't help doing a Dikachev and thinking about the time I balked on a Dikachev in Italy. Kind of blow if you guys want some Italy stories. I balked on a Dikachev and then uh, my coach took her shoe off and threw it at me and it nailed me in the head. I laugh now, I think it's comical now, but it was not too funny during the time. I did indeed become more afraid of my coach and her shoe than the Dikachev. That was a finger breaker for sure. We're okay, they're intact. Certainly took a few tries. First rip. Next skill, we're moving right into what used to be a G element. It is now only an E. That stinks. How could they do that from a G to an E? Whatever, we're doing a shoosh. Story behind this one, I actually learned it in this very gym. So special. Something I loved about growing up in this gym is our coach would have all of us try multiple releases. And instead of just being like, you're doing a Jaeger, he would have us all try multiple different releases and then figure out which ones came most naturally to all of us. It was cool because we got to really choose the release, choose the release that was best for us. Also have more of an array of skills in our skill encyclopedia. So here's a shoosh. We have a bleeder, ladies and gentlemen. It's like the smallest rip I've ever had. I was 
really ugly. Next is the cork, you know? So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, cause it's in my bio. I won Italian national championships on bars and it's thanks to the skill. Cause I've always been a bad front giner. Coach Aaron, shout out to you. He's like, how about a cork, you know? You get two values in one skill. You get the salto and the reverse grip and you get five tens for the E. Let's warm it up. I haven't done this in a good old year. By the way, we have rip number two. <laughs> how about instead of Every release counts as 10,000 subscribers. Every rip counts as 10,000 subscribers. I think that's how many we're gonna have by the end of this. I do wanna do one more because I think I can do that one prettier too. We got four down, six to go. Classes have started. That took me an hour. I tried. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow. Don't you guys love bloody grips? What is up, Flames? Welcome to day two. We've got a lot of high to low, low to high releases. I thought, let's start off today with a banger. <laughs> let's try the mount where you jump off the springboard, push off the low bar, and catch the high bar. I don't have very much running space because, um, the beams are right there. So I'm gonna have to like zigzag my way through. I feel like it's gonna be pretty funny. Oh, what does this make me think of? Tarek. If you haven't met Tarek yet, go check out the death loop video after this one because we played with this mount for a long time and uh, it was just fun times. Why is this kind of scary? <laughs> it's harder than it looks. It's just intimidating, okay? Wait, I've done this before. Why am I freaking out? This is way harder than it looks, guys. I'm not kidding, try it and then let me know. How many times can one eat crap in a day? Cody. Did you do it yet? No. No. Cody's coming, he's gonna show me up. <laughs> show us how it's done, come on. Lock it in for me, this is number five. <laughs> I first wanna try to just like dive roll over. Uh, oh, dive roll, interesting. Have you just gone over yet? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I've never tried this. Okay. <laughs> it's not that bad. I give up. I give up. I'm closing my channel, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm glad I kept my shoes on. Oh my gosh, dude! Are you kidding me right now? That's too fun. You were freaking insane. That was too fun. You were freaking cracked. Oh my That's god. That's fun. I've never done that one before. Well, on that note, let's move on, Flame. Pitch high, number six, locked in. Can someone please explain to me how I can do a Shapashnikova, but I can't just jump over the low bar. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to warm up. My absolutely least favorite skill in gymnastics. The one, the only, shoot over. Some people may call it overshoot. Others may call it bail. All I have to say, mental blocks.
that we got that out of the way, let's move on to a pack. One of my absolute favorite skills where I pretend I'm Nasty Luke and every time I do it. Way higher than I was expecting. When you said, oh my god, I was like, what did I do? No, it was amazing. Okay, thanks, buddy. Push, 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 push. Ah! Hey, debating either doing packful, straddleback, or delchiv. Because we put a ginger in this video, it's only fair to put a delchiv. It's like a ginger inside out, you know what I mean? I've only caught this one time two summers ago. It was very ugly, but I'm just gonna try a few just to show you guys the difference of a ginger. Ginger is back flip, half turn, and delchiv is half turn, front flip, like Jaeger front flip. It's so weird, because they're so close to being the same skill, but also at the same time, totally not the same skill. Basically, you do a hop half and then front flip. Can you guys even see? Okay, I'm soaring away just really far from the bar right now. With that, it's just not happening today. But I do have another at least five release moves in mind. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't yet. We're gonna have a 10 other release moves video in the next few months. XOXO, see you in the next video, and may the fire be within you. Thank you for 100,000, I love you guys.